good morning and uh, assalamu alaikum this is video number 435 and uh, in this video i am going to explain the convex sets uh, convex sets are uh, widely used in uh, the study of uh, microeconomic theory and uh, they are the basic building blocks in every area of microeconomic theory uh, convexity is uh, often assumed because it guarantees guarantees that uh, the analysis is mathematically tractable and uh, the results are well behaved uh, let us define the convex sets in uh, n dimension or n dimensional euclidean space uh, let us suppose there be a set s in uh, n space s will be a convex set if for all x1 in s and x2 in s we have tx1 plus 1 minus t x2 uh, which belongs to s for all t in the interval 0 is less than t is less than or equal to 1 so the interval is 0 is less than or equal to t and t is less than or equal to 1. This says that the set is convex if for any two points in the set all weighted averages of those two points are also points in the same set. Uh, let us take the definition uh, and we will analyze it. The kind of weighted average used in the definition is called a uh, convex combination and I'll explain this uh, with the help of a graph or diagram later on. Uh, but before that, let me explain this. We say that uh, Z is a convex combination of X1 and uh, X2 if Z is equal to TX1 plus 1 minus T X2 for some number t between 0 and 1 because t is between 0 and 1 so 1 minus t is also between 0 and 1 and the sum of the weights t plus 1 minus t will always be equal to 1. A convex combination z is thus a point that lies between the two points x1 and x2. Uh, if we consider two points x1 in r and x2 in r where x1 is equal to 8 and uh, x2 is equal to 2 are uh, represented in the figure in the next slide. The convex combination z that is equal to tx1 plus 1 minus t x2 can be multiplied out and uh, rewritten as uh, z is equal x square plus uh, x2 plus uh, t x1 minus x2. And here, this is clear in this uh, graph. Uh, as I mentioned, the convex combination Z equals uh, Tx1 plus Y minus Tx2 can be multiplied out and rewritten as uh, Z is equal to X2 plus Tx1 minus X2. And if you look at this diagram, uh, as I mentioned, uh, T can take any value between uh, 0 and 1. If T is uh, equal to 0. Then in our example z is equal to x2 and x2 is equal to 2. If z takes the value, uh, if t takes the value of 1, then z is equal to 8. And if t takes the value of 1 by 2, then in that case uh, z is equal to 5. And if t takes on the value of uh, 2 by 3, then in that case z is equal to 6. So in all these cases, uh, Z is the uh, convex combination of uh, this uh, entire set. So, this is how we define uh, convex combination. So, Z uh, is the convex combination. Uh, you can also read this detail uh, how Z will be equal to 2 and 8 and um, 5 and 6. Here is the detail. And uh, in this diagram, again, it's clear. Uh, this is point x1 
and in that case this is the value of x1 and uh, this is the value of uh, x2 so this is a set so that is why uh, it is a bold face type and then there is another set x2 and uh, that contains uh, x1 x x1 2 and uh, here it uh, says x2 2 then there is uh, another set z uh, which has this formula and here it has this formula and this combination z uh, is a convex combination uh, which is also on the same line so that is why how we define convex combination in uh, uh, n dimensional euclidean space Here are the examples of convex sets. Uh, on the left hand side, these are the convex sets and these are the non convex sets. The definition of a convex set is that a set is convex if we can connect any two points in the set by a straight line that lies entirely within that set. Uh, for example, if we connect this point and this point with the help of a straight line, then this straight line lies in this set. So, this is convex. Similarly, if we can connect two point, say for example, from here to here, then this straight line lies in this set. So, this is convex and similar is the case in this and uh, uh, in this set. And uh, we also say that this is a convex set because uh, if we uh, connect any two points like this one and this one, then this straight line also lies uh, in this set. So, these are the uh, types of uh, convex sets and uh, on the right hand side, these are non convex sets because uh, there are holes in some of them there are holes, this is hole and uh, this is hole and uh, there are breaks, there are breaks in these uh, uh, sets and uh, they also have some awkward curvatures uh, on their boundaries. For example, if we connect point this point to uh, point to the left of this hole this, then part of this straight line will be lying outside this set. So, this is not a convex set. Similarly, uh, this set is empty and if we connect two points in between this bangle, then they will lie out of this set. Similarly, uh, if we connect this point to this point, then part of this uh, straight line will be outside this set. So, these are types of non-convex set. Uh, we will end our discussion of convex sets for uh, now by noting that a simple but important property sets constructed from convex, convex sets and that is the theorem. The intersection of convex sets is also convex. Uh, if there are two sets S and T and uh, if both of them are convex sets in uh, Rn that is in uh, n dimensional Euclidean space, then the intersection of set S and set T will also be a convex set and uh, here is the proof. Let S and T, T be two convex sets let x1 and x2 be any two points in the intersection of uh, S and T because x1 belongs to S intersection T and x1 belongs to S and x1 belongs to T because x2 belongs to S intersection T and uh, x2 belongs to S and uh, x2 belongs to T. Let z which is equal to Tx1 plus 1 minus T x square uh, for t is uh, in the interval 0 and 1 be any convex combination of x1 and x2 because s is a convex set and z belongs to s because t is a convex set and uh, z belongs to t set because z is uh, in s and z belongs to t also. So, z belongs to s intersection t. So, this is the uh, proof of uh, the, 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 the intersection of two convex sets is also a convex set. Uh, I uploaded this video because uh, convexity of sets is uh, widely used in uh, microeconomic theory 
uh, and uh, we also have convex function. So, I took start with the notion of uh, convex sets. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, every, com every convex combination of any two points in uh, S intersection T is also in S intersection T then S and T, S intersection T is a convex set. Uh, I hope uh, this was informative for you since this is a, a, a course on um, advanced microeconomic theory. So, the PhD students or the MPhil students, uh, they should be aware about uh, the Euclidean space, the n dimension or the n space and uh, the convexity of sets and later on we will apply these uh, concepts in uh, consumer theory and the uh, producer theory. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel kindly do subscribe and do not forget to click on bell icon. Uh, you will get uh, uh, notification regularly about my videos that will be uploaded for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, kindly share uh, this video and uh, the channel in various WhatsApp groups so that they could reach to the maximum possible number of uh, people. Thank you very much and uh, see you. Uh, so